What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. In this video today, I'm going to tell you about a system that I use in medical school to be successful. I was introduced to this system um, by some a professor at medical school and uh, it basically set me up for success. Before I tell you about this system, I want to thank the sponsors of this video, the team over at Wondershare. They have a really good tool that you guys can use whatever stage that you're in, if you're pre-med, if you're in medical school, if you are in nursing school, if you're in business, if you're in law, whatever it is that you're in, you can use this. At my medical school, there was a note-taking system called the MINTS, Medical Note-Taking System. And I have another video about not going to school or going to class in medical school and I studied on my own at home because I thought I can be, I knew I can be more efficient that way. And I'll put that video right up here. But there was a student that was assigned to a particular lecture and then they would go to class, they would take notes in lecture and then they would s summarize the lecture and put it in a PDF and they would send it to us. And this was a, a service that you had to pay for because they had to pay the student who took the notes in lecture. They also had some audio that we used that I used to uh, listen to on lectures. I listened to them two speed, but the notes, that's how I, one way I was successful was, was by reviewing those notes. And even though I wasn't in class, I could still use those notes. The problem is that the notes, they came in a PDF. And when I would receive the PDF on my computer, it was one of the challenging was adding new notes as I was listening to the lectures on that PDF. But I wish I would have came across what's called PDF Elements. This is a program that you can download to your Android, to your Mac computer, to your um, PC. It's a program that allows you to edit PDFs, it allows you to download PDFs. Uh, convert them to an Excel file, to a Microsoft, Microsoft Word file. You can sign documents. I think all of these uh, are key features that I wish I would have had when I was in medical school. Now I'm going through the process of about to start, finish residency and then start fellowship. And we have to go through what's called a credentialing process. So anytime that you started a new hospital you have to get what's called credentialed and that means that they go through all of your information you have to send them your cv medical school transcript immunization records a letter from your residency program of good standings your research they look at uh, where you went to medical school uh, where you went to college you have to send all of these things in to a centralized system and then you get credentialed. And sometimes this can take six months, nine months, almost a year to get credentialed at a hospital. And before you can either operate or work at a certain hospital, you have to be credentialed. So I found it was easier to compile all of these documents into one instead of sending 20 documents on an email and trying to attach 20 documents on an email, I compiled them all into one, one PDF. And this is what PDF element allowed me to do. Uh, also signing documents, which you will do a lot throughout your career, either, whether that's signing your residency contract or signing documents in medical school or signing a lot of documents in residency, especially as a doctor, your name is going to be on a lot of things. So you have to sign it. You don't want to print those things out. You just don't have time. You want to do it electronically. And that's what PDF Element allows you to do also. So check out that, that team over there at uh, Wondershare. They have a really great tool that you can incorporate and use throughout your whole medical career. I will put a link to 40% off in the description. So make sure you check it out. But for my system that I use in medical school, uh, that allowed me to be successful is called a rolling review. And what that means is that in medical school, there's a lot of material. Say, for instance, a test for co a college test would maybe have 10 lectures on it. In medical school, you may have 80 lectures on that one test. So it's important to have a system. And whatever system that you use, 
you need to make sure it works. If it works, stick with it. If it doesn't, get rid of it. I found out that the best system for me was called a rolling review, and this is how I essentially went about it. Before each lecture, say for instance, today is Sunday and tomorrow we had a lecture on pharmacology. I would, the night before, review that lecture, kind of quickly look over the notes, look over the uh, the PowerPoint maybe that, uh, that is, was provided for us before the lecture that we even started. And we had a syllabus also that the handouts for each lecture and we got a whole package of material before the course even started. So we had all the material for the entire course. So what I would do is kind of quickly review that material just to get an idea of what is going to be talked about the next day. So that's one time of reviewing that material. The second time is in class. Um, or if you're at home, you're listening to the lecture audio. So when that material has been taught, you can say, oh, I'm familiar with that because I've heard it or I read it the day before. So that's two times. And the third time is when you review the information after the lecture. So say, for instance, we had mandatory class, which we didn't have that often from 8 to 12. I would go home, maybe take a break, lunch break, and then start up studying around 1 p.m. And then I would review all of those lectures for today. This is a quick review as well, which means that I would go through the lecture, I would pick out things that I thought were important for the test, and I would make note cards out of those things or an outline. So this is the third time of doing that. So I would go through all of those lectures, say for instance there are four lectures, I would do all those four lectures, maybe spend 45 minutes or an hour at most for each one, so four hours. Um, the next thing that I would do is, say for instance, it's a... 10 days left before your test and you have 80 lectures. So that means 80 lectures divided up over 10 days, which is eight lectures per day. So in addition to your normal studies, say for instance, you had a normal class that day, four lectures that day, I would review those eight lectures in addition to what was already scheduled for that day. So I would go to class, or if I stayed home, I would do that work for the day. And then the next thing I would do is review those lectures on the roll-in review. So I would do lectures 1 through 8 on Monday. I would review lectures 9 through 16, whatever, on Tuesday and kept going until you got to your exam. So by the time your exam came around, you had reviewed that material maybe three to four times. If you started out 20 days prior to your test, you can do a roll-in review twice. So... I think in the medical school, there's a lot of material that you have to learn. It comes with repetition, and that's how you be successful. You repeat the material over and over and over again until it gets into your head. And the way to do this is preview before you go to class. In class, pay attention or lecture audio. And then after class that same day, make sure that you review those lectures, make note cards, make an outline. The next thing you do is, your test is coming up, if you have 10 days, you need to divide those lectures up that are going to be on the test. If it's 80 lectures, you need to review 8 lectures a day in addition to your normal study schedule for school. So this is like in the evening time after you've completed everything else. And then do questions kind of here and there in between that. So. That's how you be successful. That's how I was successful in medical school, and I thought this rolling review actually helped. I still kind of use it in, in residency as well. If we have a board uh, exam coming up. I try to divide up the subjects. I study hand surgery one day, foot and ankle surgery one day, joint replacement, spine surgery, pediatrics, trauma, and I, I divide it up like that instead of just particular lecture. So... That is kind of my system that I use in medical school to be successful. Whatever you use, make sure it works. If it doesn't, get rid of it. If it works, stick with it. And in the medical school, you have to be dynamic. You may have to switch by semester. So what works for one semester may not work for the next semester. So thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you check out my merchandise. You can get this t-shirt here and other uh, inspirational merchandise. I'll put a link in the description as well. But 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.